Oh, I just woke up by the sirens, uh, and then I was looking out of the window and said, oh shit, the Russians are here. Because look at this. <laughs> they put all fangs here, you know, on the Kreshati. Wow, what a scene. Yeah, interesting. I have to go down and check it out. Okay, I'm down here. I have to check out what's going on. And there you can see them. Tanks everywhere, people pausing and taking photos. Yeah, this is some kind of exposition. So I didn't even notice when they brought them here because we live up there. This is our apartment and I didn't hear anything. When I woke up, I saw all these tanks. So I don't even know how long this street goes. I mean, I know how long the street is, but I'm not sure how many tanks are there and why. I think they're all Russian tanks, but uh, why did they have to remove the Z is the question. Here must have been the Z. They painted it over. And yeah, and for the uh, burnt wrecks, probably you can't see the Z anyways. And here this thing has also, wow, it's crazy, these things are massive and here there's something written on the tank, what is it, Jotikiv? Hello, oh no, thank you, I already had some, thank you, thank you, so they're selling here some and here they're also writing something on the tanks. Yeah, they will bring them. Another tank. The question is why? Why are they doing this? So, uh, I'm very surprised. It's also a very special day because tomorrow is my birthday. So, <laughs> very excited. We're going to the countryside in the Ukraine. And, uh, have a little fiesta with some friends. So yeah, here the Maidan Square. And that's the end, the last one. Here they block the street. Scary these things. And the cute police lady stops the cars. Oh, and they're also painting the barricades apparently. I think this is some kind of exposition for this weekend. Wow. So well, let's walk in the other direction. And it's also interesting to see these are actually different models, you know, the shape is very different. You see these have a thick and short uh, pipe to shoot and the other ones have here, this one has a long pipe, so they have all different models of tanks, but I have no idea. So uh, people are also looking, <laughs> very curious, filming. And I'm wondering what it means, what I've written on it. By the way, there are also uh, tanks uh, near the church. If you uh, walk up the hill, they, there's a permanent exposition, exposition, but they have only like two or three tanks. And now it's massive that they bring all these tanks. Maybe they want to show that uh, now it's a turning point of the war. Yes. Yeah. You put some earth. So I'm not sure why. So here. Oh. I'm not sure how much they cost in production, but I think they're very expensive. At least a million dollar for each. And here also they removed the Z.
Nice, I'm taking photo here with the tank in our apartment up there. So the one on the right, this is our place. Paula is still sleeping, but I got down here instantly. Because I think it will be more crowded soon. Gosh. The ambulance. The Vive Croissant is still closed. They are very, very delicious. See so some other kind of vehicle. This is not a tank. And they have some information. Well, in English. So it was destroyed as a artillery strike. So this is a radio explosive jamming station. And of course, it's Russian. Yeah. So at the Anatov in Hostomel. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so they apparently used this thing to bring them. Maybe they're coming even more. AFC introduces a new Ukrainian burger. They always stayed open, not like McDonald's, who has chickened out. See, this is the Chinese car. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I hear another vehicle. No idea what it is. And over there even more. So, and this one looks actually familiar. I think they brought it from the church upstairs. Uphill, I mean. So, it's the same thing. So this one is new, or maybe it's just the same model. I'm not sure. This is a so-called uh, Typhoon. This is a mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle. I, yes. And this is all, it's from March. So I, I think this is the one, in fact, from the church. In St. Michael's church here in Kiev. Over there they bring some more. Some more tanks. So another one. I think it's also from the church, so they have already some info. Also from Hostomel. Uh, it's just for carrying people. See people already wrote on it. Oh, it's posing. It's this huge tank. So over there are the closed McDonald's and the Krishatik station. They are supposed to reopen this month, but no signs yet. In the end of August. So, what is this? Is it like a mini tank? Oh, they also put a t shirt there. Ay, ay, ay. Well, this is also from the church, I think, which is uh, an anti aircraft missile system. Here. Some cars. Another vehicle. So this one is a Tiger M remote weapon station. Oh yeah, much prettier when they're not destroyed. What are these symbols here in the tanks? Oh, here's some more clothing which probably belongs to dead people. Oh, yeah, yeah, very creepy. Yeah, it's getting more crowded. And here we already reached the end. No idea how many vehicles are here. I think 30, maybe even 40. And there's one more coming.
here they're bringing in some more. I'm wondering how long they will be here because apparently it's a lot of work to bring them here. And yeah, here's the uh, other star sign. I think I'm going back. Live in the Ukraine. I'm wondering what he does. Oh, he's watering the plants, very modern. So cool. What happens? Why they bring it somewhere else? Here are also some missiles. There's Patron, the dog, the military dog. So that's it already from this video. Uh, it was just a quick update because I was surprised, very spontaneous. But I think it's uh, interesting to report about these tanks here on the Kishatik. It's not something that happens here every day. Uh, by the way, check out my other videos here live from Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, lots of interesting stuff, Bucha and daily life. Today I'm going to interview some people about cost of living and uh, yeah, stay tuned for updates and thanks for watching. I'm very surprised how could they make this without waking me up, you know, from my apartment. This is just here.